Finbond is a new Pretoria-based bank offering deposits, credit and insurance solutions. Yeah, it's probably not fair to call them new. I mean, it is new in a sense that it's not all that long that it's been on the market, but it did have a mutual license before, which it converted to a full banking license, done a couple of acquisitions, mm. but it's in the same kind of thing. It's headquartered in Pretoria, but it's got branches in the northern province, northwest Limpopo. Billy van Aert, uh, Dr. Billy van Aert, was a academic at Poch University who decided it'd be more fun to be the CEO of a company. And he's done a spectacular job also increasing its loans, increasing its deposits. Nice little operation. Market cap 1.9 billion rand, PE ratio 48, dividend yield here of 0.6. Nice little operation, says Paul Turok. Uh, yes, yeah, I think uh, I think some of the small cap punters really did see this as the potential to be the next Capitec. So uh, it, it rose very quickly. The, there were earnings to follow, but it's now sort of priced in quite a lot of the future potential. You've seen the share price move sideways for about a year around the three rand level and I think there's uh, sort of the news flow slowed down considerably. They were also making an acquisition, another acquisition, African Unity Holdings, sort of dragged out and eventually in, in November I think the deal uh, sort of failed to be concluded. So I think that's also taken some of the momentum out of the growth and sort of the excitement in the whole story. And so I think again the market may be at this point sort of you know looking to wait and see what it what it's able to deliver it is ex uh, results quite soon february year end we haven't seen any trading updates so maybe the the, the market's waiting for some more information well, as ron says again adopting a wait and see attitude on this one yeah and what this one also needs to do is to transition its sources of funding because there's a natural progression when people get into the banking arena they start off with individual depositors that finance the book then after a while you start to get retail deposits and then after a while you get into the scale where you can do corporate bond issuance they're in the trajectory there there's still too much private funding there not enough retail depositor but they'll get there i suspect if uh, if they're lucky and if hot the market remains hot or not right? attractive. Uh, let's wait and see not hot or yeah, not? i'm also going to go with not hot just on account of a little small little bit uh, questionable at some level